We present DOME, an imitation learning method that is able to perform a task just from a single demonstration immediately after the demonstration is provided. Specifically, DOME can learn a task from a single demonstration without further data collection and without prior task or object knowledge. And it can then be deployed immediately after the demonstration in novel object configurations and with the presence of destructor objects. To achieve this, we first move the end effector to what we call the bottleneck pose and capture an image from the wrist camera. We then perform the demonstration, recording end effector velocities in the end effector frame during the process. Once done, we are ready to deploy our controller. We use a simulation trained visual servoing controller to go back to the bottleneck pose, from which point the end effector velocities can simply be replayed to complete the task. Our controller is robust to the presence of destructors. and in the extreme case can deal with us moving the object around during servoing. In greater detail, our method works as follows. During the demonstration phase, when we reach the bottleneck pose, we take an image from the wrist camera and use a network training simulation to obtain the bottleneck segmentation. We then combine those to obtain the segmented bottleneck image and store the bottleneck and segmented bottleneck images for use during deployment. When we do the kinesthetic demonstration, we record the end effector velocities in the end effector frame and store them for use during deployment. At deployment, we start by using our learning-based visual server and controller. First, this uses the bottleneck and live images to isolate the object of interest in the scene. To do so, it uses an image-conditioned object segmentation network to obtain a live segmentation of the object and by extension the segmented live image. Second, it uses the segmented live and segmented bottleneck images to obtain a velocity command through a learned visual surveying network. This will move the live image towards the bottleneck image and the process will be repeated until the bottleneck and live images are completely aligned. At that point, we have reached the bottleneck pose. Once this is done, we simply replay the velocities recorded during the demonstration in order to complete the task. This is because at the bottleneck pose, the object to end effector configuration is the same as during the demonstration and the velocities are all recorded in the end effector frame. To evaluate our method, we use seven everyday tasks that we perform from different initial configurations with and without distractor objects. We also compare to three baselines that can be trained using a single demonstration. Those consist of course to fine imitation learning, behavior cloning, and residual reinforcement learning. We note that our method is the only one that can be deployed immediately after the demonstration without needing to collect data or train a policy between the time of the demonstration and the time of deployment. Despite that fact, the baselines still fail to perform well on our tasks, especially with the presence of distractor objects as illustrated on the following clips. <laughs>